In this video, I'm providing a short introduction to the understanding of identity sessions. The session is about a short introduction, what identity-based security is, how we achieve an identity session based on a login event, how we can monitor an identity session, enforce security based on it, and share this identity session with an enforcement point. Identity-based security, we are using access role objects, to describe mostly the source. And an access role object has multiple dimensions, the dimension of networks, users, machines, and remote access clients. Let's review how the security gateway is able to map users and the machines they are working on to the IP addresses that are then used for the communication that should be protected. So the security gateway is learning the login event from the Active Directory server using multiple ways. One way is AD query, another way is using the identity collector. The security gateway then is querying the Active Directory for the group membership. This information is then used to create what we call identity sessions, tables that are mapping IP addresses, users, and machines. And then these identity information, these identity sessions, are shared with policy enforcement instances that are running on the same gateway, or they can even run on a dedicated uh, gateway distant from the gateway running the PDP instance. And the policy enforcement point is then the instance that is taking the content of the identity session tables and enforcing the security based on the security policy. We first see the login event for a machine authentication for the client machine name recognized by the identity source AD query. And here we even have a role matching. We see as well for the user on this machine, the login event, recognized by the identity source AD query and the groups the user belongs to and the roles that is matching. So let's understand why the role is matching. This is our access role object. It is matching for any network. It is matching for users that belong to this group on this domain. And here you see the unique identifier and it's matching for any machine that is used. So this is why here in the log message, we have the access role matching because the access role is defined for any machine. It is not anywhere limited or specified. On the security gateway itself, we can monitor the identity session using the PDP monitor command, and we can monitor now an identity session for this IP address. So the identity super session has this ID. It's bound to this IP address, and it has one basic session for a machine, which is our Windows client. Any identity super session can have one machine-related session with its own session ID. The source, how we have learned this identity session is AD query. We can see the distinguished name, like it was documented and created in the um, Active Directory. And we can see when the next authentication event is expected. So this session, this identity session has a lifetime. We see the lifetime here from the time it logged on until the time the next um, 
logon event is expected. We have another basic session for the user that has logged on on this Windows client. And this user belongs to multiple groups. And an access role object has matched. That's the access role object we just looked at. And the source to have this identity logon event learned is the AD query source. And here we see the distinguished name and the time when the logon took place. In order to understand the security decisions that are made by the policy enforcement point running on the security gateway, we can query the enforcement point identity tables, the information it is holding for the user Bob. So Bob is currently associated with this source IP address and this access role. So anytime the security gateway will see a source packet from this IP address, it will match access control and threat prevention rules where this access role object is used. There are more commands for the policy enforcement point. So you can match for users, machine, or groups. In order to understand from which policy decision point the policy enforcement point is receiving information about identity awareness, you can use this command. And you see that information is shared from a PDP instance running on the same security gateway. 